Hey, my name is Gary. Welcome to part two of our series on suffering for these daily doses. Uh, last time we talked about how suffering is like an ammonia stick, and today I want to talk about how suffering is like an awkward bad dinner party. You ever been invited to a bad party, or it's just cringy, and you kind of want to leave, but you can't because you're there and you're kind of trapped in how it's going. Uh, there's one time I was at a party. It was a long time ago, so don't try to figure out which party it was. But I was there with one of my really good friends and kind of with some other folks. And like my friend and I both kind of knew what was going on. And it was just kind of a rough social moment. But we kind of had this eye contact, like I know and you know that this is bad. And so I kind of had this connection with him, even though it was at this bad dinner party. But we were kind of in it together, even though it was awkward. Um, but this kind of like being invited to a bad party where we don't like that we're here, but we're here together is kind of like what suffering is. Um, 1 Corinthians 10, uh, 13 says, no trial has overtaken you that's not common to mankind or common to humanity. When we suffer, it's kind of like a bad dinner party invitation that you're not allowed to say no to and you show up and there's like the, I don't wanna be here, um, but I'm not alone here. There's other people who have suffered like we've suffered. And one of the big lies we can face in suffering is this, my suffering is unique and nobody understands it. But throughout human history, in the local church, there are people who have suffered, maybe not in the exact same way, but in similar ways. And there's a sense in which like you're at this party together. You don't really want to be at this party, but you are at this party together. And so I hope the Wizard Redemption Gateway can see that there is like an, uh, you, when you start to suffer, you start to understand other people who have suffered similarly. And there is that kind of eye contact, like now I understand what you were going through. I didn't understand previously. Now that I'm going through it, I see how you're going through it. And those of you who have suffered in ways that maybe I haven't or other people haven't, you know what it's like to be misunderstood in your suffering. But when someone else gets invited into that, you're kind of going, I'm sorry that you're here at this terrible dinner party with me, but I'm also glad that now we're here together. And so suffering is like a bad dinner party. And I hope that we can call what's bad, bad, but at the same time, call the connection that it can create uh, a, one of the ways that God can use suffering for good. So I'm going to next time you get invited to a, a bad party, I hope it kind of helps us think through ways that we can connect with others in our suffering.